Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, let's have a look at Barber here because I know a lot of you guys like to like to see Barber and like to see what's going on with Barber and um, and and what's happening here with Barber. And I really just want to share this with you um, of what I'm seeing through here. So the very first thing, guys, that I like to do when looking at any chart is I firstly like to look at it from a weekly chart basis. So from an absolute weekly chart basis, and I like to see sort of three years. As you can see, well, almost one, two, and a bit years. So almost probably probably three years worth of data. Three years with data. Three years of data. Data, data. I still can't get that right, can I? It's like, which one is it? Data or data? Um, <laughs> data, data. <laughs> right? So look at this here. So firstly, that's what I'm going to do here. Let me actually just take everything off the screen here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's any long-term major support lines. So of course, I'm going to start off with the bottom here. And I can see how right now we are definitely at a level of long, long, long-term support level through here. Um... I can definitely see just by looking at this here, there is definitely a lot of sort of support and resistance around where we are right now. So roughly around this level through here, but I really wouldn't be looking at that. I can definitely see there was a bit of a trend line coming down through here. So looking at sort of the, uh, looking at that level through there, you can see how this big long, if I just draw it down through there, you can see how that there was a bit of a, bit of a conjunction here, right? We had a big pullback to this trend line and now we're actually finding a lot of support here and now we're breaking out. So that's actually a bit, bit of a positive bullish sign. Let's go back to the daily charts now and let's actually zoom in on the last three months and then now let's actually see what's happening here. So firstly, what I can see looking at, at Barber is that I can see we have this low point through here. We rallied up, come back down and we created this low point through here. We've got this high point. So now we've also got another higher high and we're getting a bit of a pullback now. So looking at Barber and we've got, looking at Barber right now, we've got a bit of a, what, what I call space in between here. See how we've got spaces? That's a, that's a, I like to identify my lows and highs. So low, rally it up, pull back. There's a space in between the lows here. Um, it just creates the significant lows, what I like to see. So there, rally it up. Now we've got this space here. So what you would want to see with Barber is since we've broken out of this big, we're at this long-term level of support, is what we want to see is we want to see Barber hold here and start to create a very nice higher low breaking up past these levels. If we can get a breaking past this sort of 230, then we're probably likely to start to see a very nice move back up towards the 300 level. So back up towards um, back up towards this 300 level. Now on a short term basis, the, the first target I would see, if we can get that pattern through there, like I just shared with you a minute ago, where it's a higher low breaking past these previous highs. So like right here, in fact, you can actually see how that level through there really was a, this whole area through here is a, indeed support, 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 support and resistance. So if we can create, if we can create a higher low, higher low through here and hold up and then break past these previous highs, break past 230, then we're probably going to make our way back up to 270. And then with what's happening right now across the markets, I definitely do see, oh, I, I see this thing probably running back up to all time new highs, especially Barber. Barber is, Barber is a very, 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 very successful company. So, but on a short term basis, on a short term basis, guys, there's nothing really saying here that this is going to go back up or this is going to be a really good move to the upside. But that'll be the first sign that the buyers are coming back in because the sellers have been in control this whole time, knocking it down, as you can see. Um, we've had a move down and a rip up, a move down, a rip up, a move down and a rip up and a move down. And now we're getting just a bit of a rip up as well. So we need to start to see the tune changed when it comes to Barber um, and what's going on there when it comes to when it comes to that. So if we do get this high low here, guys, that'll be the key I'm looking out for. Um, to see that the buyers are in buyers are here. Uh, I'm not in Barber myself. There's no technical reason for that. We are we still are in this downward move, so it may not be coming to an end. But what we want we want to wait for the market to tell us that it's starting to turn around, start to get this move up through here. If we can get that, then we're once again we're likely to start to see a move coming back up to the upside.